still on the Packer media interests and the judge hearing the copyright case taken by Channel 9 against media startup Ice TV has urged the parties to mediate. Nine says Ice TV has breached its copyright by compiling an electronic program guide which allows people to record free to air programs using a computer or digital recorder. As Sue Lannan reports, Ice says it puts its guide together using publicly available information. It's a battle about who owns the rights to the TV guide. The Nine Network has taken Ice TV to court, accusing it of breaching copyright by including information about Nine programs in its electronic program guide, which subscribers can download. In the federal court, lawyers for Ice admitted that it gets some program information from websites, including Yahoo and YourTV.com, which is owned by publishing and broadcasting subsidiary HWW. But ICE says once it gets to HWW, Nine's TV guide is changed because it's incorporated into a TV guide for all stations and is not copied word for word and therefore not covered by copyright law. Counsel for ICE TV, John Island SC, told the court that information can't be copyrighted. He says while Nine owns its TV guide, it doesn't own the information in TV schedules compiled by other companies. Mr Island told the court that ICE wrote its own program descriptions by using the internet, books and other publicly available information. Our starting point is not the Channel 9 weekly program schedule. Counsel for Nine, Richard Cobden SC, says the use of websites that Nine licenses its material to is a breach of copyright. He accused ICE of using Nine websites and magazines to make last-minute changes to its program guide, saying in a six-week study of 1,068 programs earlier this year, ICE got 1,066 correct. With the likelihood of the case being appealed, Justice Annabel Bennett urged both sides to negotiate. She says Channel 9 has already licensed its program information to pay TV operator Foxtel and could consider a negotiated outcome with ICE. Sue Lannan with that story.